Welcome to my channel I aim to upload these news top 10 summaries daily. Links to all articles in the description if one grabs your attention. From The Guardian under the main headline of Russia-Ukraine war latest news. Military base close to Polish border hit by Russian missiles. Explosions heard in Lviv a Euro, Liv. Summary of headline article. 657 More on the situation unfolding this morning from Guardian reporter Luke Harding who brings us the latest developments from Yavoriv. Russia escalated its war in Ukraine with a strike on a major military base this morning in western Ukraine. Two large explosions were seen at the base in Yavoriv, a garrison city just 20 kms from the Polish border. The sky lit up with two explosions, Stepan Chuma. 27. An emergency worker said. Unconfirmed reports suggested Ukrainian anti-aircraft defenses may have intercepted a Russian missile. From iNews under the main headline of Britons offered a £350 a month for hosting Ukrainian refugees. In their homes. Summary of headline article. Britain's offering homes to Ukrainian refugees through a new humanitarian route will receive a thank you payment of £350 per month. The government has announced sponsors can nominate a named Ukrainian individual or family to stay with them in their home or offer a separate property for them to use rent free as a thank you. Sponsors will receive payments of £350 per month. I urge people across the country to join the national effort and offer support to our Ukrainian friends. Meanwhile, Nicola Sturgeon and Mark Drakeford have said both Scotland and Wales are willing to become super sponsors for Ukrainian refugees. From Daily Mirror under the main headline of Boris Johnson to hold summit with Nordic and Baltic leaders on Ukraine crisis. Summary of headline article. The video will autoplay soon 8 cancel Boris Johnson is bringing together Denmark, Finland, Estonia, Iceland, Latvia, Lithuania, the Netherlands. Sweden and Norway for talks on the current crisis and how to rebuild Ukraine after the war Boris Johnson to hold summit with Nordic and Baltic leaders facing Putin's aggression Boris Johnson is to hold a summit this week with the leaders of Nordic and Baltic states confronting Vladimir Putin's aggression. The PM is bringing together Denmark, Finland, Estonia, Iceland. Latvia, Lithuania, the Netherlands, Sweden and Norway for talks on the current crisis and how to rebuild Ukraine after the war. Ensuring we are resilient to Putin's threats needs to go beyond our military footing. All the countries invited have clashed with Russia and face cyber threats from the Russian president's keyboard warriors. More than 30,000 troops from 27 nations will be putting on a show of force in extreme temperatures. For Putin's benefit. From The Guardian under the main headline of China battles worst COVID outbreak for two years as. Cases double in 24 hours. Summary of headline article. China reported nearly 3,400 daily COVID-19 cases on Sunday. Double the previous day. Forcing lockdowns on virus hotspots as the country contends with its gravest outbreak in two years. But the latest flare up, driven by the highly transmissible Omicron variant and a spike in asymptomatic cases, is challenging that approach. Zhang Yan, an official with the Jilin Provincial Health Commission, admitted on Sunday that local authorities' virus response so far had been lacking. The smaller cities of Siping and Dunhua, both in Jilin province, were locked down Thursday and Friday, according to official announcements. As cases rise, 
the country's National Health Commission announced Friday that they would introduce the use of rapid antigen tests. From the Independent under the main headline of J.K. Rowling criticizes Keir Starmer for saying, A Euro trans women a woman a Euro. Summary of headline article. Sir Keir Starmer has sparked criticism from children's author J.K. Rowling for saying trans women are women, and calling for a more respectful debate on the issue. The Labour leader backed calls to reform the Gender Recognition Act, but said existing UK law meant that transgender women can already be considered women. But the Labour chair also said that when it came to trans women, understandably because they live as a woman, they want to be defined as a woman. The process that people have to go through does need to be looked at, said Sir Keir. Asked about the row at the time if the conference in Brighton. Sir Keir said Ms Duffield was wrong to say that only women have a cervix. From the Guardian under the main headline of UK visa red tape distracting fighters on front line. Says Ukrainia Euro S former PM. Summary of headline article. Volodymyr Groisman was Ukraine's premier between 2016 and 2019. And has been warning about the threat from the Kremlin for many years. I'm not only observing the pictures of those people. I'm also meeting those refugees on a daily basis, he said. Home Office Minister Lady Williams of Trafford said on Friday that 1,305 visas for Ukrainian refugees had been issued as of Thursday morning. This is alongside changes to visas to ensure Ukrainians in the UK can stay here. I'm with the majority of Ukrainians who don't perceive such claims on behalf of Russia as adequate, he said. From Daily Mirror under the main headline of Royal Worry. Summary of headline article. The Queen has recovered from Covid. With Buckingham Palace saying at the time she was experiencing mild cold-like symptoms. But she hasn't met a group of people in public since February 5th Queen could miss Prince Philip. Memorial service as she rules out, using wheelchair the Queen could pull out of a memorial service. For her late beloved husband Prince Philip as she reportedly rules out using a wheelchair. It is claimed. But this comes after she was announced not fit enough to attend today's Commonwealth service at the same venue. Image. AFP via Getty Images. AFP via Getty Images. Now the Mail on Sunday understands she has ruled out the option of using a wheelchair at this stage. And remains determined to continue to walk for as long as possible. But she still made the regretful decision late on Friday to pull out of the annual Commonwealth service. Which is usually a highlight in her calendar. Image. Getty Images. Getty Images. She will be very determined to make the Duke of Edinburgh's Thanksgiving service later this month. Which will be of incredible importance to her considering his funeral was so scaled back. From Sky News under the main headline of Ukraine War. Russia, installs new mayor of Melitopol, as humanitarian aid for Mariupol will arrive today. Summary of headline article. The Ukrainian parliament has claimed that Russia has installed a new mayor in the southern port. City of Melitopol. A day after the city's elected mayor was allegedly kidnapped by Russian forces. Galina Danilchenko, a former member of the city council, was announced as the new mayor on local TV on Saturday. According to reports, Ukraine's parliament claimed that the previous mayor, Ivan Fedorov, was kidnapped by armed men acting on behalf of the Kremlin on Friday. Meanwhile, humanitarian aid for the besieged city of Mariupol is set to arrive this afternoon. Volodymyr Zelensky has said, Mariupol is strategically important for Russia because it would unite separatist forces in eastern Ukraine with Russian troops in Crimea.
leaving Ukrainian troops there isolated or encircled. From the Independent under the main headline of Boris Johnson tells Irish Premier a Euro significant. Changes a Euro needed to Brexit protocol. Summary of headline article. Boris Johnson has told the Irish Premier that significant changes are still needed to the protocol. After the Taoiseach said there is a growing view in Northern Ireland that the Brexit deal is working. Michael Martin said, everyone he has met, in Northern Ireland wants continued access to the EU. Single market as he met Mr Johnson in London for talks. Speaking to reporters ahead of talks with the Prime Minister in London. Mr Martin said business leaders north of the border thought the Northern Irish economy was benefiting from current arrangements. Mr Martin told reporters. So anybody I've met in Northern Ireland all want to continue access to the EU single market. A Downing Street spokesperson said. The Prime Minister reiterated the need to make significant changes to the Northern Ireland protocol in order to protect peace and stability in Northern Ireland and safeguard the Belfast. Good Friday. Agreement in all its dimensions. From the Telegraph under the main headline of Last Exit from Moscow. The ordinary Russians desperate to escape Putin a Euro's grasp. Summary of headline article. The Georgian capital has been the destination of choice for dissident Russian journalists. Creative professionals and political activists for years. But a gallery owner friend who has lived there for three years reports that the locals are becoming resentful. Especially the Georgian intelligentsia. Many Georgian landlords are refusing to rent to Russians. She says. My Moscow apartment becomes an impromptu bank as I hand out hard currency to the relatives and friends of Russians who live abroad and collect cash from others desperate to get money out. Safe in Istanbul. We open up Facebook and discover that the city is full of old Moscow friends. Just arrived. A gallery owner. A political analyst. Several Russian journalists. A fellow British correspondent. Many thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to get your daily notifications. Have a great day. Thank you for your support. Goodbye.